Steve Smith here. I have a brand new release on BFM Jazz, my group Vital Information NYC Edition, and the album is called Heart of the City. play a combination of jazz standards and original compositions. A lot of times what we got into with the jazz standards is putting a very unique arrangement together, something um, we like to call a Soskinization is one way because Mark Soskin, for instance, took the Monk tune rhythming and he really put a unique spin on it. Or we'll take a tune like Cole Porter's tune, I Love You, and well, you'll have to hear it to see what we did with it. So, I mean, one thing that I've always been involved with is harmony, you know, um, and trying to do interesting things harmonically. And that's what I did with that, you know, and of course I take the melody, the melody as the main focus, but then put some different kinds of colors to the chords, and that's what I did. But you change the rhythm. And then I change the rhythm, yeah. I kind, I kind of reinvented stuff. And that's what I did on the introduction. And I love doing this. I've been doing it like my whole career. That's part of my thing. And what's the term for it? Reharmonization. Soskinization. And Soskinization. Yes. Soskinizing. Yeah. So India is included. We did some odd time playing. We wrote a tune in 13 called 8 plus 5. So you're talking about eight plus five. That's one of your favorite tracks, right? Oh yeah. Well, I'm I'm the king of odd time. You throw an odd time at me, and I don't flinch. You know? Just because I've been playing fusion my whole life, more than jazz actually. I've been a, sort of a fusion funk player. Well, my forte is collaboration. Like I can't sit and just write a song. So I'm going to write a song. But if somebody gives me an idea. I can finish that idea and go, oh, maybe this should go here. And that's, I love doing that. So this was a, Sil a Zildjian cymbal demonstration where I heard the group with Steve Smith. And so it inspired me to write the tune around it. And like I said, almost instantly when I heard the tune, I heard the groove and then the melody came out of that groove. I think I am fortunate to have been born and raised in the Washington DC area where being a team player, being an ensemble player, and especially a groove player, was the first, your first job, your first duty as a musician. And now, for me as a composer, those parts just kind of come out, they just come to me and on the spot. And it, and it all depends on you know what you're surrounded by. So when I hear an inspiring drum part from Steve or a bass part from Baron, it it inspires the part that I can come up with. Our take on Cherokee is kind of interesting because I was I was hearing that you could play the melody of Cherokee, especially the A melody, without really changing the melody, but you could put it in 15A. You just drop one sixteenth note. Uh, and, and it's in 15, but the A melody stays the same. The bridge we put in 7, again, very close to the normal bridge. We just drop an eighth note, and we have the bridge. And the, especially what I notice about that part, that tune, is the bass part. It's so beautifully melodic, grooving, in an odd time signature, really the king of odd times, Baron Brown. He really shines on that tune, as does everyone in the world. Even though I grew up in fusion, I did when I went to Berkeley College of Music, I learned that it was a jazz school and I knew nothing about jazz, so I had to go in the shed hours every day, eight hours a day, and learn the greats like Ron Carter and, and all the other ones, you know, and Miles Davis, and I transcribed everything they played, walking through changes. I never knew how to walk through changes. I had to learn that when I got to college. Paul Chambers, and when they get a chance to solo, they try to be as melodic as the horn players are. 
and holding the rhythm and the harmony together. That's my job. So I have to keep that together. Sometimes I get a, a little hair on my nose. I want to get flashy and stuff. But it doesn't really work on that song. You kind of, kind of got to keep in the groove. Almost like a tap dance, you know. I wish I could tap. Like that. I've been enjoying bringing uh, the South Indian conical into the group as well. And we created a very nice piece that we call Open Dialogue, where we're ha we are having a dialogue uh, in the studio. It was a one take deal where I was playing and reciting and playing the drums, and, and the entire band got in on an improvisation that really captured the spirit, kind of a late 60s type of vibe, but adding in this uh, South Indian conical. And then I doubled myself, so in, in the studio, the voice has a big sound. So check out Heart of the City. It features Baron Brown on the bass, Vinny Valentino on guitar, Mark Soskin on keyboards, and we have a couple of special guests, Andy Fusco on the alto, and George Brooks on the tenor and alto. We are currently on tour playing the music, so come out and hear the group live and get it to experience part of the city live. And on BFM, we have the CD, and the downloads. Enjoy.